I mitten av 90-talet flyttade Brendan Benson till Kalifornien för att söka lyckan precis som så många andra. I bagaget hade han ett gäng poplåtar och en dröm om karriär och det började också bra. För precis så där fem år sedan så släpptes hans debutplatta. One Mississippi som den hette fick recensenterna att jubla men sen, sen gick det som det gick. Plattan floppade och följdes av flera års skibolagstrul och skrivkramp. Enormt besviken flyttade Brendan Benson till slut hem till Detroit där han istället började hjälpa sin polare Chris med hans låtar. Det var också där någonstans som Brendan Benson hittade tillbaks till varför han gillade musik. Till slut hade han rent av knopat ihop en egen uppföljare. sort of afraid to to make any decisions, you know, because it might be the wrong one. So I was able to kind of like try everything out on Chris or <laughs> see how it worked with him and then, you know, if it was good. Yeah. yeah. I'm still alive. <clears throat> you know, we were just talking yesterday over over a beer and he said, you know, it's weird, you're kind of a guinea pig, you know, <laughs> meaning for me, you are kind of like you know, you coming home and we didn't think about it that when he was recording, we were just recording, but it, it turned out that he got to um, practice. You know, you know that phrase, guinea pig? To, yeah. A guinea pig meaning um, well, where test. Where it come from? Is it... It's like a, I think it's like a lab thing. You know, yeah. the scientists would, would, you know, the guinea pig's there and, you know, test, test things out. <laughs> You're quiet. You don't talk. You will shut down. And close up. You know, typical is all. There's always uh, an emphasis on, um, in my opinion, which is why I, which is why I love listening to, to the songs and playing the songs and s singing back up on the songs. Is there's always attention given to melody. You know what I mean? The melody's always um, like st you know stands out or is very important. Or you know, and that doesn't not just the vocal. You know, the melody that maybe. The bass plays, or a melody that keyboard plays, or even you know even guitar parts. It's really really important. So really melodic. Yeah, I can't help myself. I just I, it's fun to play drums, and I love to play bass, and I like to do it all. I mean, it's partly you know it's. I mean, I guess some of it is that sort of control freak in me, or but you know, and wanting things to be a certain way. But mostly, it is just sort of it's just. It's just fun. Like I, I want to do it because it's fun. You know?
Och gillar du klassisk powerpop bör du definitivt kolla upp Brendan Benson. Precis som ett av hans favoband White Stripes kommer han alltså från Detroit. White Stripes gillar för övrigt också Brendan väldigt mycket. De brukar turnera ihop och har till och med varit i studion och spelat in lite tillsammans.